In this video, we'll be looking at how we can use the Line Weaver Burke plot to calculate the maximum velocity and Km from an enzyme experiment. So the Line Weaver Burke is basically a double reciprocal plot of the michaelis mentens plot. If you look at the michaelis mentens plot here in the top left, we can see that we're plotting the substrate concentration on the x-axis against the reaction rate or the velocity on the y-axis. Now, one of the problems with this representation of the data is that we can't actually determine accurately what Vmax is because this graph in theory never actually plateaus. Because we use an estimate of that plateau value for Vmax and therefore when we come to calculate Km as a half Vmax, both of these values are estimates. But the equation that we derive from this michaelis menten is V equals Vmax multiplied by the substrate concentration divided by Km plus the substrate concentration. If we take the reciprocal of that, we end up with this equation here, which is 1 over V is equal to Km plus the substrate concentration divided by Vmax multiplied by the substrate concentration. And we can rearrange that into this format here. So Km over Vmax multiplied by 1 over the substrate concentration plus 1 over Vmax is equal to 1 over V. So that's the equation that we're going to be using when we go into Excel to actually calculate Vmax and Km. Now graphically, we can see here that 1 over Vmax is represented by the y-axis intercept point, and negative 1 divided by Km is the x-axis interpoint. We can also use the gradient of the trend line here to calculate Km and Vmax, because the gradient is equal to Km divided by the Vmax. So what we're going to do is we're going to jump over into Excel and we'll actually look at some more experimental data and how we would manipulate that in order to create a line weaver Burke plot and calculate Vm and Kmax. So now we are in Excel and I should say that I'm using the Mac version of Excel so there might be some small differences between what you see here in the Mac version and where things are found in the Windows version but essentially the process is going to be the same. I've already entered some raw data from the enzyme assay. In column A here, I have my substrate concentration, and in column B, I have the velocities or the rates that were recorded. Now, from what we've just talked about, you will know that we now need to calculate the reciprocal values for the substrate concentration and the reciprocal values for the velocity or rate. To do that, I can use a formula in Excel. So I just say equals 1 divided by, and I click in cell A2, and it will automatically insert the value that is in A2 into this cell for me. If I press return, you can see that it has indeed divided 1 by 10. In order to copy this formula across, I can hover over this little square in the bottom right-hand corner until the cursor turns to a black cross. If I click and drag across, it will copy that formula across into column E. And if I then drag down, it will replicate that formula into all of these cells. So this cell here, for example, is one divided by 120. What we then need to do is to plot this graphically. So if I go to insert, and I select the X, Y scatter graph, and pick this one here, just made that a bit bigger so we can see a little bit more easily. You can see that I now have a linear representation of my data. So we have 1 over V on the y-axis. We have 1 over substrate concentration on the x-axis. In order to get a trend line, what you need to do is to click on one of the data points and then right-click and click on Add Trend Line. In the Mac version, it will bring up this dialog box on the right-hand side here. The linear trend line is automatically selected, so you don't need to change that. But what I can also click is this display equation on chart. And what that now has done is inserted the trend line equation in the format y equals mx plus c. And when you look at line weaver Burk plots, in the literature, you will see that they are normally extended back to the x-axis intercept. 
What you can do here is go to the forecast feature and in the backwards dialog box, I've already know that I need to enter a value of about 0 0.2. If I press return, then what you can see is that the trend line has been extended back to the X intercept. Now, when you do this with your raw data, you will need to play around with that backwards value until you get a graph that you are happy with the appearance of. So this is what we're going to use now in order to calculate Vmax and Km from this experimental data. We can calculate Vmax because we know that the y-axis intercept here is equal to 1 divided by Vmax. The intercept is given by our c value in the equation y equals mx plus c, which is 0 0.0243. So we can type equals 1 divided by 0 0.0243, and that will tell us that the maximum velocity is 41.15. Now km can either be calculated from the x-intercept, which is negative 1 over km, or we can use the fact that we know that the gradient is equal to km divided by Vmax. So I'm going to use that way. So km is equal to the gradient, which is given as 2.0531. So 2 is equal to 2.0531 multiplied by Vmax which is here. So if I press return, then we find that, v, that Km is 84.489. Okay, so that's how you will calculate Vmax and Km from a line weaver Burke plot. When you come to putting this into your final report, you want to make this graph look a little bit better. So you probably don't need these vertical and horizontal trend lines. You're not going to need the chart title, but it probably would be a good idea to try and make this equation a bit bigger so it's easier to read. And so you can make that graph just look a little bit more pretty. In order to export that into your final report, what you need to do is click on it anywhere in the graph area, right click and say copy. You then jump over into Word. And this is a blank Word document here. You can then right click again and click paste. Now this graph is actually linked to the Excel spreadsheet. The other way that you can do this is to actually paste as an image. So if you go up to the paste option here, you see this down arrow and you can paste as a picture. And that will give you the same graph, but it's no longer editable within Excel. Underneath that, you're going to need to put in a figure legend. So figure one, line weaver Burke plot, 1 over V versus 1 over the S concentration for the determination of kinetic parameters of, and then you can expand that for whatever the relevant enzymes and conditions of your experiments are. So that's how you would calculate Km and Vmax from Lionweaver Burke, and that's how you would represent this in your final report.